The world is slowly getting back on its feet, after a fierce battle with coronavirus. As more and more countries are opening to travel again, some cannot wait to travel, even if they take a solo trip. In this video, we talk about the best European destinations for solo travelers. Find out the best time to visit these places. But first. We want to thank you for joining us. Find us on all the other social media channels. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and click that bell, to get notified when we release a new video. We also appreciate, your likes, and comments below as it helps to support our channel. Oh. And don't forget to check out our website at immigrationandmigration.com. This video is brought to you by I am. We believe that travel improves and inspires you and the people around you. We help you travel by providing services which overcome barriers and frameworks that simplify and enrich your experience. We just happen to be immigration lawyers. So reach out to your IAM visa coordinator when you're ready for your adventure or already on one and would like some assistance. After two years of travel restrictions and with more countries welcoming back tourists, we are more than ready to get out there and explore the world. A growing number of people are booking solo trips, it seems many don't want to wait around for others to explore the countries on their bucket list. However, traveling solo can be a daunting experience, but there is no better continent to do so than in Europe. Europe offers a myriad of destinations to choose from, and the European cities provide endless opportunities to learn, grow, and explore on your own journey. Here are the seven best cities Europe has to offer to start your solo journey. Amsterdam, the Netherlands. If you want to just wander along 17th century canal houses with a camera on hand, there is perhaps no European capital city quite as suited to solo travel as that of Amsterdam. Filled with quirky museums, stunning vistas, and plenty of unusual things to do, you can't go wrong by dedicating at least a long weekend to discovering the delights of this city. The city has a wide, vibrant community of travelers, be it leisure travelers or freelance digital nomads. The best time to visit Amsterdam is between April and May or September and November, which is before and after the summertime high tourist season. Athens, Greece. Athens is a wonderful destination for solo travelers. Not only is it friendly, welcoming, and easy to get around, but it is home to some spectacular attractions that you don't want to miss out on, just because you don't have a travel buddy. If you like to explore with a smaller crowd, then the months of May, June, September, and October are ideal for visiting Greece. But, if having more people around makes you feel secure as a solo traveler, then summertime could be the season for you, the warmer summer months are when, crowds swell throughout the country. Edinburgh, Scotland Edinburgh is one of Scotland's most beautiful cities. As the capital city of Scotland, it's clear that there's no shortage of amazing things to do in Edinburgh. Between scouting out Harry Potter inspiration locations and drinking some of the best local beers that the city has to offer, you're guaranteed to have an amazing time wandering around the city, especially if you're traveling alone and are free to set your own schedule. The perfect time to visit Edinburgh is June through August, which is the warmest, but also the busiest time for tourism. Istanbul, Turkey Istanbul is the only city in the world which is divided between two continents and therefore it is natural for it to be very touristy and crowded. This massive city hub at the crossroad of Europe and Asia is also affordable to travel around. Istanbul is full of cultural and historic experiences with its dazzling mix of old and new. Lyon, France 
The eastern French city of Lyon is best known for its world-famous foodie scene, impressive Roman ruins, and wealth of stunning architecture. Whether you enjoy wandering around historic museums, taking day trips to the nearby wine country, or simply enjoy soaking up the sights of an old town, Lyon is perfect for a solo traveler in France. The most important factor in deciding when to visit France is tourism itself. As most French people holiday in their own country, consider avoiding the main French holiday periods, which are mid-July to the end of August. Rome, Italy Rome is a top choice for solo travelers. With the highest number of places to stay and most activities to choose from. Rome is a huge city full of history, culture, and food, so there is plenty for you to discover. Zurich, Switzerland Zurich is a stunning Swiss destination that should be on any European itinerary. Beautiful to visit during any time of the year, visit Zurich in the winter, and you can expect to see the snow, while the summer offers a tranquil lakeside experience. When it comes to solo travel in Europe, a chief concern of many visitors is whether or not it's safe to travel alone. Typically, traveling around Europe is as safe as traveling around your hometown, but you should take the same precautions as you would if you were back home. It's normal to get nervous when traveling alone, but it should not stop you from having a fantastic time. Where do you want to travel? Talk to us in the comments section below. If you have plans to travel, check out the deals we have found in the description box below. If you need assistance with a visa to Europe, the UK, or the US, including help with securing your travel arrangements, IAM can help. For visa advice, contact your IAM visa coordinator. If you'd like to get more info on travel, visas, immigration, and citizenship, head over to immigrationandmigration.com for more free content. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for more travel and visa updates.